guys, Megan Woolerton for CNET here with a review of the Electrolux Precision Brush Roll Clean. This $309 vacuum sits in the mid-price range, but it offers a lot of higher-end features. For starters, let's look at design. There are a lot of things to look at here, but I'll just walk you through the key features. First of all, the handle up top doubles as a wand that you can release easily to get at hard-to-reach places. The handle also has a feature where you can adjust the amount of suction you want. It also comes with two different attachments. One is a dusting tool, and the other is a Versa tool, so it can get in crevices or on stairs, other hard-to-reach places. I also really like the bin on this vacuum cleaner. It's clear so you can see how much dust and dirt you've accumulated, and it's incredibly easy to remove and snap back into place. This vacuum cleaner also comes with a HEPA filter. Also unique to this vacuum cleaner is the height adjuster, so you can get small and big particles. By far my favorite feature of this vacuum cleaner is the brush roll clean technology. If you're vacuuming up stuff that gets stuck in the brush, you can just push down the brush roll clean pedal and it will suck everything that's stuck in there up into the bin so you don't have to do it yourself. So I tested this $309 vacuum cleaner against the $650 Dyson DC41, the $399 Dyson DC40, the $399 Auric Bagless Touch, and the $199 Shark Rotator Pro Liftaway. We tested how all of these vacuum cleaners stand up against Fruity Cheerios, sand and sawdust mix, pet hair, human hair, and a combination of washers, nuts, and bobby pins. You're welcome! <laughs> <laughs> and we tested all of those different things on a short carpet, a thicker carpet, and hardwood. And what I learned was that the Electrolux does incredibly well. It did have some problems collecting clumps of pet hair and fruity Cheerios from hardwood, but I used the brush roll clean technology and it sucked everything right up into the bin. Compared to the Dysons and even the Auric vacuum cleaner, it didn't pick up as many bobby pins, nuts, or washers. But as a regular consumer, I'm not sure I really care that much. One difference between the Electrolux and the other four models we tested is maneuverability. The Electrolux does do well, but it doesn't have the same rotator ball or swivel feature as some of the others. Overall, I really love this vacuum cleaner. I would highly recommend it, especially compared to the more expensive models. It still does incredibly well, and it's much less expensive. Thanks for hanging out. I'm Megan Woolerton for CNET.com.